Jerusalem captured. Now when Jerusalem was captured in the ninth year of Zedekiah king of Judah, in the tenth month, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and all his army came to Jerusalem and laid siege to it. In the eleventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, in the ninth day of the month, the city wall was breached. Then all the officials of the king of Babylon came in and sat down at the middle gate, Nergal Sarezer, Samgarnebu, Sarsekim the Rab Saris, Nergal Sarezer the Rab Mag, and all the rest of the officials of the king of Babylon. And when Zedekiah the king of Judah and all the men of war saw them, they fled and left the city at night by way of the king's garden through the gate between the two walls, and he went out toward the Araba. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued them and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho, and they took him and brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon at Riblah in the land of Hamath, and he passed sentence on him. Then the king of Babylon slaughtered the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes at Riblah, the king of Babylon also slaughtered all the nobles of Judah. He then blinded Zedekiah's eyes and bound him in shackles of bronze to bring him to Babylon. The Chaldeans also burned the king's palace and the houses of the people with fire, and they tore down the walls of Jerusalem. And as for the rest of the people who were left in the city, the deserters who had deserted to him and the rest of the people who remained, Nebuzaradan the captain of the bodyguard took them into exile in Babylon. But some of the poorest people, who had nothing, Nebuzaradan the captain of the bodyguard left behind in the land of Judah, and gave them vineyards and fields at that time. Jeremiah spared. Now Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon gave orders regarding Jeremiah through Nebuzaradan the captain of the bodyguard, saying. Take him and look after him, and do not do anything harmful to him, but rather deal with him just as he tells you. So Nebuzaradan the captain of the bodyguard sent word, along with Nebuchadnezzar the Rabsaris, Nergal Sarezer the Rab Mag, and all the leading officers of the king of Babylon. They even sent word and took Jeremiah out of the courtyard of the guardhouse and entrusted him to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, to take him home. So he stayed among the people. Now the word of the Lord had come to Jeremiah while he was confined in the courtyard of the guardhouse, saying. Go and speak to Eve Melech the Ethiopian, saying, This is what the Lord of armies, the God of Israel says, Behold, I am going to bring my words on this city for disaster and not for prosperity, and they will take place before you on that day. But I will save you on that day, declares the Lord, and you will not be handed over to the men of whom you are afraid. For I will assuredly rescue you, and you will not fall by the sword, but you will have your own life as plunder, because you have trusted in me, declares the Lord.